Uh, we're, we're first going to talk about uh, the Chiefs running performance last week. Mark, what was kind of your thoughts before we dive into that on the Chiefs performance against the Jets? Well, going into it, I actually wrote my article last week on the running game and how I thought that they would be featured for sure in the second half of the game and how they would be like this great rushing attack and all this stuff. And that mm-hmm. just turned out to be totally false. So I apologize again for jinxing the Chiefs. I know I think it was first Harrison Butker that I jinxed, then it was – Mike Dana got hurt and all this other stuff. But anyway, so the Chiefs running game just looked absolutely horrible. Like yeah. Le'Veon Bell, I, I talked in the article about how he was averaging 6.5 yards a carry as a Chief, and that just tanked after a 1.7 <laughs> yard per aver- rushing average there. Uh, couldn't pick up the first down. I think it was two times. Uh, there was right. a fourth and one, and I think there was a third and one that they ended up punting on. Um, but they didn't use Clyde Edwards Alaire hardly at all. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of a bummer of a performance. But the good news is it launched Patrick Mahomes back into uh MVP contention, so that was positive. Yes, it did yeah, my Patrick Mahomes had a really good day, five touchdown passes. All the Chiefs' uh pa- touchdowns came through the air by Patrick Mahomes' arm, and it was good to see him sling the pill a little bit. I've, I've mm-hmm. recently learned that phrase, and I've been using it a lot on the podcast, but I really like slinging the pill because that's what he was doing, calling audibles, getting Tyree Kill open. There was that one play, I think it might have been Tyree Kill's first touchdown, where he – where Tyree Kill was just so open on that play too, and it was a mm-hmm. beautifully thrown ball. Patrick Mahomes was really on one last week. Mahomes just had so much at his disposal in that game, like – it seemed like the Jets were there to like make sure Le'Veon Bell wasn't gonna <laughs> like hurt them, which is right. Patrick Mahomes is the quarterback. Um, but yeah, it was just the Patrick Mahomes show, which I'm down with. I'm fine with it, but I was just a little bit sad that their running game couldn't actually get going. Yeah, we don't get to see that much anymore. We don't get to see Patrick Mahomes take over games and put up big numbers like he did on Sunday. And I and I think you're right. I think the Jets were like, hey, we really don't want Le'Veon Bell to beat us. Like, this is the one guy that – because a lot of teams are like, hey, we don't want Patrick Mahomes to beat us, and rightfully so. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes showed why teams have been putting everyone back and putting a bunch of defenders in the, in the secondary because he – gash the jets now the jets are just bad at pass defense that's kind of what came down to that but um they're the 10th rated uh, according to dvoa they're the 10th best rush defense in the nfl and it kind of showed on sunday as the chiefs only gained 50 yards so through on the ground yeah they they showed out on that end and uh unfortunately mm-hmm. for them their offense couldn't do anything um yeah. especially they didn't do too bad in the first half actually they had to settle for field goals i was kind of mm-hmm getting on the Chiefs defense a little bit on Twitter. You know, you're playing the Jets. You got to stop them, get some three and outs. Um, They actually went for that field goal at the end of the half. Could have scored. I think it was – I think they would have scored on every possession in the first half if they had scored on that uh, field goal there at the end of the half. Mm -hmm. Um, But the Chiefs just absolutely shut them down the second half, which was great to see. Um, But, yeah, the Chiefs running game was terrible. Yeah, I – I'm curious to what you think about this. Do you think that it was bad play calling or do you think it was the Jets defense? I think it was the Jets defense. I I don't think that the Chiefs offense was doing much to help themselves at the same time, Mm -hmm. but I don't think it was the play calling necessarily. I mean, there was a few times where I thought like on that fourth and one, they could have done something a little bit more creative than run up the middle, which is what everybody was expecting. Maybe do a little bit of a, I don't know, some sort of option where Mahomes could have ran it or passed it. But um, there was, I mean, there's a few plays where you look back and you think uh, they could have done something different there. But at the same time, when Mahomes is on his game like he was on Sunday, you just kind of let him throw it around. You don't really try to establish the run, quote unquote, if that's what you're thinking about doing on a day like that. So. I think you mentioned a good point about the Chiefs defense too. They didn't uh, really get off the field when the Jets were in short fields, if that makes sense. So if whatever it would have gave the Chiefs a good field positions, they were kind of unable to get off the field and stop them on third downs. But in the red zone, the Chiefs defense was able to hold the Jets to field goals. And I don't think that the – 
the play calling was off. They ran a lot of RPOs, um, which I personally really enjoy the RPO aspect of it. You need a good quarterback to run RPOs. Joe Burrow is a good quarterback to run RPOs, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cincinnati ends up eventually running RPOs. They got a good coach over there, Zach Taylor, who's a good offensive mind. But I just got off on a tangent about the Bengals. That's weird. Um, That's all right. (laughs) Yeah, they beat the Titans. That was a interesting yeah. game. So I mean, uh, maybe the maybe big. the Bengals are starting to come around uh, as a good team. I would love to see that. Honestly, I, I love Joe Burrow as a quarterback. I've talked about it on this podcast before. Running mm-hmm. RPOs benefits him. Also benefits the Chiefs too. You oh, look yeah. at Patrick Mahomes and his decision making in those RPOs have gotten exponentially better, and he's finding these receivers who find soft spots in the zone. Travis Kelsey is another guy who is. Oh yeah playing out of his minor now this is going to be his best season i think uh, as a receiver and really as a tight end and he's really showing that he's the best tight end in the league because mark you know what the best ability is what's that availability oh yeah so i like that that. (laughs) yeah and if you uh look george kittle just had a foot injury a foot fracture Mm -hmm. not saying it's his fault he's out for at least eight games but the best ability availability travis kelsey hasn't suffered a serious injury now knock on wood we're both knocking yeah. on wood. Travis Kelsey has been av- available and pretty durable since he uh-huh. suffered a, some injuries early in his career. 